Previously, I asked what should be the starting location of this playthrough. Based on your decisions, Northern Forest was selected as the base for new Fixit operations. As experienced by every aspiring Fixit engineer, the first step to completing project assembly is to build a base, otherwise known as the hub. Fixit recommends you to build hub close to starting resources like iron, copper and limestone. This is a good recommendation, but please note, the distance to other early game resources like coal will come into play soon. Closeness to other resources like quartz, caterium and sulfur might improve your adventure experience and should be considered as well. It is also wise to collect all leaves and bushes you encounter. These will be turned into biomass and used to power your starting factory. And this seems like a perfect place to begin a new adventure. Let's call it the lake. Well, not like the lake in the Alan Wake that turned scary really fast. There is a lot of open space for us to easily build and all the resources we need right now. The research I consider the top priority is logistics. Otherwise, you would not comply with fixed value efficiency first. On normal and pure resource nodes, the miner is able to mine more ore than one smelter is capable of smelting. Therefore, a splitter is a lifesaver in this situation as it enables you to direct miner output into two or more smelters. It is possible to create initial production lines without mergers and splitters though. However, with logistics you save yourselves from unnecessary rebuilding later. Pro tip, use eyedropper tool to quickly select and place any buildable by clicking the middle mouse button while in dismantle mode. That way, you don't have to select buildings in the queue menu and you could quickly place more buildings. Another concept that will come in handy is the manifold. The manifold are buildings placed in a row where each building has its own splitter feeding the input. Remaining materials carry on to the next splitter feeding its machine and so on. This will become especially useful as belt speeds start to increase and the amount of resources to produce each part will soar. Your main early game challenge is to be aware of your biomass supply, since it can't be fed to biomass burners automatically. If you fail, like I did, you will soon be made aware of your failure by this notification. No worries, I'm sure you won't miss it. As of now, your power production is still not fully automated. Therefore, moving on to coal power as soon as possible is highly recommended. Since basic production lines are done, it's now a time to decide. Should we go and explore, possibly find hard drives, slugs and other parts that might help us on our upcoming journey? Or should we spend time building factories and carrying on with research? Option 1 is especially attractive thanks to some alternate recipes like cast screw that will make our life easier in the long run. But option 2 is viable as well since it will catapult us towards the completion of project assembly and fully autonomous power supply. Leave your choice in the comments. And remember, choose wisely.